Karugtong lang ito sa previous na na-upload natin na tutorial video galing pa rin kay Sir Glenn Fabillion. Basahin natin yung problem. Mark average 60 miles per hour during the 30-mile trip to college. Therefore, yung one trip na to, 30, mile yung, 30 miles yung layo niya. Because of heavy traffic, he was able to average only 40 miles per hour during the return trip. The question is, what was Mark's average speed for the round trip? Again, ito yung kadalasang mali. Yung kadalasang mali ay yung 60 at 40, i-add nila tapos i-divide lang ng 2. Mali yun. Take note. Ang speed is equals to, nandito, no need na mag-memorize. MPH, miles means distance. Per hour, hour means time. So, speed is equals to distance over time. Ang question dito, what was Mark's average speed for the round trip? So, distance divided by time. This means total distance divided by total time. So, kailangan natin kunin yung total time at yung total distance. Ang distance niya papuntang college, trip to college, is 30. Return is also, of course, 30. That means 30 times 2. Yan yung total distance. That means yung distance niya ay 60. Total distance. Over yung time. Ngayon yung time, total time, ang hanapin natin itong 60 miles per hour kung ilang oras niyang nilakbay itong 30 mile na trip to college. Although obvious naman na half hour lang yan, pero isa-isahin natin isolve ito. Erase muna natin. Ulitin lang natin, bali i-recap lang natin bago tayo mag-proceed para makahabol yung ibang nalilito kung paano ko ginawa yun. Speed is equals to distance over time. Kailangan pa bang i-memorize yan? Hindi na. Nasa always yan sa speed, nasa given na yon. Kapag miles per hour, meaning speed yan, yung rate na yan. Miles, distance, per, over, hour means time. So, speed is equals to distance over time. Ngayon ang hinahanap natin dito sa first trip niya going to college, given ang 30 miles papuntang college, yung distance given. Ang speed given. Ang hinahanap natin yung time. So, balik kung ito yung rate niya or yung speed, ang distance over time, tapos ito i-transfer natin sa kabila maging rate times time equals distance. Tapos, i-keep natin si time dyan or I-isolate natin si time kasi yan yung hinahanap natin. So, maging itong rate niya since pa-multiply sa time, pang-divide ngayon siya sa distance. Kaya, time is equals to distance over yung rate or yung speed. In other words, ito, ibalik ta rin mo lang yan siya. So, ang time is equals to distance over speed. First, Time is equals to, or sabihin na natin, time A is equals to, yung distance niya ay 30 over yung speed na 60. 30 divided by 60 and that is 0.5, meaning 0.5 hour, yung papunta sa college. Next, time B is equals to, yung distance pariho lang 30. Yung speed niya ay 40. Now, 30 divided by 40 and that is 0 0.75 R. When we say total time, i-add natin ito. Paano mag-add? 0.5, i-align mo yung mga decimal niya, 75. So, this is carry 1, tapos kopihan yung decimal, i-align lang man siya. 
1.25 hours. Itong 1.25 hours, yan yung total na oras papunta, pabalik. Okay? Ngayon, ang tanong, what was Mark's average speed for the round trip? So, that is, speed is equals to yung total distance over yung total time. Yung total distance ay 30 times 2. Kasi balikan lang yan. Yung total time is 1.25 hours. Yan ay kinukumpute na natin. I-delete lang muna natin ito para may space tayo. So, i-rewrite ko lang. This is 0.5 and this one is 0.75. Ang total dito ay 1.25 hours. So, ang hinahanap natin ngayon ay yung Mark's average speed for the round trip. Total distance over total time. Total distance is 30 times 2 and that is 60. Again, itong 60 miles na ito ay i-divide natin sa 1.25 hours. Yan yung average speed round trip. Para mas madali... 1, 2. So, dalawang decimal to the right. Ganon din ang gagawin natin sa numerator natin. Maglagay tayo ng dalawang zeros. 1, 2. So, magiging 6,000 over 125. Mas madali na siya. 6,000 divided by 125 and that is 48. So, ang sagot dito ay 48 miles per Hour. So, sa tanong na what was Mark's average speed for the round trip, it is 48 miles per hour. Since marami na tayong na-upload with regards to speed or rate, distance over time, ilalagay ko sa description ng video ito yung dati na nating na-upload para mapanood nyo rin yung iba pang mga examples na kahalintulad nito.